Welcome to Active Campaign's How To on Importing Contacts, where I'll show you how to import contacts into your Active Campaign account. Importing contacts is one way to add contacts into your account or update already existing contacts in your account. Here's what you'll need to get started. If you're new to Active Campaign, first off, welcome. Before importing, it's helpful to think about how you'll be organizing your contacts with list tags and custom fields. Be sure to create a few lists for the broader types of emails contacts may be subscribed to. You can think of these as subscriptions. Contacts must be subscribed to a list to receive emails. Also keep in mind that to import contacts, you must have this contact data saved as a CSV file. You'll also need an email address for each contact you plan to import. To start this process, first go to the contact section in your account and click on import. Since you'll be importing a CSV file, you'll click import from file. Find the CSV file that you want to import. Your file will process and then you'll be brought to the import screen. Before running this import, you'll need to make some selections on this page. The first step is mapping. It lists each column in your file and you can map or connect this data to a specific contact field in ActiveCampaign. Start with the column storing email address. Since this is required to run your import, you can see ActiveCampaign has already matched this column to the contact email address field in your account, so we're all set here. Using the dropdown for all other columns listed, select which contact field you'd like this data to be imported into. If you don't want to import a column, you can simply select do not import this field. If you'd like to import a column, but don't already have a contact field for this data in Active Campaign, you can create a field on the fly by selecting add new field, when doing this, be sure to pick the proper field type based on what that data is in that column. For example, for my contacts, I have birthdays for each contact in this column, which are dates. So I need to create a date field to properly store and use these birthdays in my account later on. If you happen to have a column with tags for each contact, you can select tags in the dropdown to create these as tags in Active Campaign. Next, you can associate contacts with your list in Active Campaign. You'll need to have these lists created before importing your contacts. The contacts in this file are customers, so I'm going to add them to my primary list and my customer updates list. If you'd like to add a tag to all contacts being imported, you can enter the tag right here. I'm going to create a new tag called import with today's date, just in case I need to find this group later on. Lastly, the import options section includes some finishing touches to just give you complete control over what this new import will impact in your account. Earlier, we checked off some lists above. Because of this, contacts will be added as active contacts meaning they'll be subscribed to the list you've selected. If any email addresses in your file already exist as contacts in ActiveCampaign, and you'd like this import to update those existing contacts, go ahead and check this box. Now this new data will be added to those already existing contacts. If this box is left unselected, the import will just add new email addresses and completely ignore email addresses that already exist. If you've created webhooks in ActiveCampaign, use the next checkbox to control whether data imported should trigger those webhooks. Next, do you want any automations to start for contacts when this data is imported? For example, in my account, I have an automation running for new customers. This automation starts when a contact is subscribed to my customer updates list. The contacts I'm importing are not new customers, so I don't want this list subscription to trigger that automation. I'll leave this box unchecked, meaning this new data imported will not trigger any automations to start. 
And finally, if this file includes any new options for a contact field that say a drop down or a checkbox, you can choose to add new options to your fields or disregard them. Once you're ready to run the import, click on import at the bottom of the screen. The import will process and then tell you when it's all completed. Thanks for watching and happy importing. Subscribe to our channel below for more content like this. And to try ActiveCampaign free for 14 days, visit ActiveCampaign.com.